everybody! Today we are here with my good friend Sikandi FPV. And uh, we're going to be talking about drones! Uh, yeah, that's right. We're going to be talking about uh, drones and uh, actually we're going to do a camera review. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay! Hey! Why did you use your left arm to wave? Okay, and uh, how come you don't move your lips when I'm talking? Um, don't worry about that, that's editing. Um, let's just go watch the camera view. Okay. Alright, so uh, is this the camera? Yes, this is the camera. It was sent to us by uh, T-Mart. And um, yeah, we just have to review it. So uh, what do we do then? Well, uh, you have to open it first. Alrighty then! So, um, the camera is out, and uh, is it this tiny little thing? Yep. How does it work? Well, uh, first of all, be careful because that camera is actually quite... Uh, oh god. So, um, the uh, camera is quite sensitive to hard handling, like you're doing right now. And uh, do you see that little white uh, connector? So that's what uh, receives the power from the drone where the camera is connected to, and uh, makes it work. So I shouldn't be shaking it like that? Nope. And what are these for? Those are uh, extra antennas that you can just connect to the camera in case um, the one that's on there breaks. Which I'm sure will happen very soon. Okay, okay. Tell me more about the camera. Alright, so uh, that piece of paper right in front of you, that's the uh, manual. Yeah, that one. Uh, and it has all the uh, features and specifications that uh, you could ever want to know about the camera. So the brand is Bold Clash. I've actually never heard of this brand before. Um, and the model is F01. Now the cool thing about uh, this camera is that the weight is only 3.1 grams. So it's totally usable for uh, a tiny whoop, for example. Uh, and that's what we're going to be putting it on. 3.1 grams! Wow, that's light! Uh, yeah, that's what I just said. And uh, can you use it anywhere else? Well, yeah, you can connect it to anything as long as it gets the required voltage supplied. Also, this camera can broadcast in 48 different channels over six different frequencies. So as long as you have a wireless receiver capable of viewing those frequencies, you should be able to see the image. So the other interesting thing about this camera is the uh, size. So it's uh, width wise, it's much uh, smaller than the um, other cameras that we used to see in the market, but it still fits perfectly in the mounts that use the same type of cameras. Um, so here's an example of a camera that I use um, a lot on my builds, and just next to it you can see that the uh, Bold Clash is um, considerably smaller. I mean, it doesn't have any impact at all in uh, flight characteristics or um, the way that we fly. Uh, but, I mean, it, it will help to reduce the overall weight of the whole camera. Mm, that was uh, quite interesting. I almost didn't fall asleep during all of your talking. And by the way, all of the things that you were saying are here written in this piece of paper. So, mm, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, but um, who's gonna read that? Well, I love to read. I even have a show about it. Maybe you should watch it. So, what do we do now? Well, uh, now we have to attach the camera to a tiny whoop before you smash it to pieces. And um, then we're gonna fly. Yay! 
And as I mentioned before, here's a really short example on how the camera would look on a tiny whoop. Uh, as you can see, the, the sides or the width is, is much smaller, but I'm using exactly the same mount as I use with my normal uh, camera slash VTX combo. Uh, and it seems to uh, work perfectly. Now, I, as you might might notice that I uh, soldered a pigtail to my board. That's because I don't like to solder cameras uh, directly. Now, this adds a little bit of weight to the overall frame, but it's much easier to change cameras in case I crash and break my uh, current camera and uh, weight uh, that this creates is not even um, considerable. Also what I've done is I checked the weight of the uh, drone with a new camera and then compared it to the old one which is a little less than one gram heavier. That sounds very interesting but why wasn't I in that last part? It's almost like you forgot something and then you had to do it again. Uh, no. Anywho, uh, the tiny whoop is fully built now, and we're gonna go fly it. Yay! I'm going to fly it! Well, uh, if you're gonna fly it, then I'm gonna leave this room because uh, I'm a bit afraid for my safety. Um, yeah, so uh, good luck, man. Oh, whatever. Just watch and learn! So um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that and uh, please um, subscribe and also uh, there's a couple of movies here on the right side for you to watch. Mm, bye!